Hi there, this is me, Anj Pandey, and you're watching Poll Pulse on One India English. The two phases of election are over, and with it, approximately 190 seats have already recorded their mandate in the EVM machines. Now, the eyes are on the third phase of the election, and so the campaign is also going on in full swing. In today's episode of Poll Pulse, we will talk about how someone got checkmated on social media despite double candidacy. How a former CM and a reigning CM lost his school on poll officials who were on duty. Whereas how another Congress candidate was forced to return her candidacy. And at last, we will see who filed an FIR on Union Home Minister Amit Shah. Too many stories to talk about. So without any further time, let's delve into this recap. Starting with the big news of the day. Well, politics and professional chess are actually similar in strategy making and checkmating. Still, both of these are not everyone's cup of tea. Recently, Rahul Gandhi shared a video on his Instagram sharing his profoundness for the game of chess and how Gary Kasparov is his favorite player. But little did Mr. Gandhi know what was about to strike him. He would have thought twice before making a comment on chess. The world chess champion Gary Kasparov indirectly criticized the Congress MP Rahul Gandhi who is contesting from both the Raibareli and Vainad Lok Sabha seat. Kasparov suggested that winning Raibareli should come before aiming for the top, implying that Rahul Gandhi's ambitious move is just a facade. Kasparov's remark shared on Friday night was prompted by a tweet expressing relief that he retired before facing the greatest chess genius of our time, Vishwanathan Anand. Responding to that tweet, Kasparov hinted at the importance of securing victory in Raibareli before aiming higher. His comment went viral on social media getting massively retweeted because Kasparov is actually keeping a check on Indian elections. However, after that, actor Ranveer Shore also shared a tweet featuring Rahul Gandhi to which Kasparov responded cautiously, hoping that his jest wouldn't be misread as a political expertise. He humorously acknowledged his observation as a chess enthusiast, noting that the political undertones were not related to Rahul Gandhi. This comment came hours after much anticipation when the Congress announced Rahul Gandhi's candidacy from Raibareli and not Amethi. Recently, Rahul Gandhi also likened politics to a chess in an Instagram video, recalling his early chess victories and expressing admiration for Kasparov's strategic prowess. He drew parallels between controlling the center in chess and in politics, stressing the importance of clarity in political strategy. But nope, it looks like Kasparov ain't a great fan of Rahul Gandhi's strategic prowess to abandon Amethi. Well, it is politics and of course, how come can there be a day when the esteemed politicians didn't lose their cool and go viral on camera due to rage? Today, the man who has gone viral is actually a former CM and a ruling CM too. But whenever you see them in images, they always have a smiling face, but not today. In Raisin, during a rally, the former Chief Minister Shivrat Singh Chauhan and other BJP leaders expressed their anger against the police officers. Even CM Mohan Yadav also went to the extent of calling the police foolish. Actually, Dr. Mohan Yadav arrived in Rajgarh on Tuesday to campaign for the BJP Lok Sabha candidate Rodamal Nagar. Here, when the police kept the public and workers away from the stage to listen to the rally, the chief minister got angry. He said, who is the police officer who is overseeing the arrangement here? It's not your place to decide. Let everyone come. What kind of arrangement is this when you distance us from the people? He also told the police officers that they lack intelligence. Furthermore, the BJP candidate from Vidisha and former chief minister Shivrat Singh Chauhan expressed his anger during a night rally when the police officers actually shut down his mic because it was already 10 p.m. in the night. At that time, Shivrat Singh Chauhan expressed his anger, saying that, how did you shut it down? Turn it back on. I want to talk to the people. Take a look yourself what exactly happened in these two rallies. <laughs> Today, a major shock occurred during the Puri parliamentary seat when the announced Congress candidate, Sucharita Mohanty, refused to contest the election 
and withdraw her ticket. Not only did she withdraw the ticket, but she also accused the Congress party of not providing enough funds for the election campaign and fielding of weak candidates too for the entire Lok Sabha constituency. In such a scenario, the Congress, which was already struggling to assert its existence in the state and even in the center, is now facing one more greater difficulty. With the removal of the Congress candidate from the field, not only Sambit Patra but also the BJD candidate can benefit because the votes might get split. Now it is a direct fight between BJD and BJP. The BJD candidate have emerged victorious last time, but this time things may change due to Sucharita Mohanty. Sucharita Mohanty had contested the Puri parliamentary constituency in 2014 too. She was second in 2014 and received approximately 2,60,000 vote. Now with her withdrawal, there is a possibility of a shift in these votes towards Samit Patra and the BJD candidate there. Sucharita Mohanty also stressed that it is almost impossible to conduct an election campaign without any sort of party fund. In this context, she also sent a mail to the Congress President Sonia Gandhi, former President Rahul Gandhi and party's General Secretary KC Venugopal too. She said that the party instructed her to contest election on her own funds. She started the campaign according to her capabilities and tried to arrange fund. However, it was not enough to do that. Take a look yourself what she stated. So I thought of, uh, I started one uh, donation drive in my social media and I, um, I knocked all doors <laughs> if anybody could get some funds to sustain my campaign. But it didn't happen that way. It's not easy because the time is very limited. And then I, on top of it, I am contesting two of my uh, opponents are real money bags. Uh, so I'm since I'm con uh, contesting against them, I didn't want to compete with them with their vulgar, vulgar display of money and power and all kinds of things which is not required. I wanted to have a simple campaign of my own, people-oriented, people-centric campaign. But uh, even for that, you need basic funds. You just can't uh, do your campaign uh, just like that, no? Even I have to uh, reach out to my voters. For that also, going there also I need, I can't walk down and cover seven constituencies in Padayatra. There is no time for that. I have to, then for nomination, for other things, technical uh, reasons also, you need everything, social media, all kinds of things, you need money, basic money uh, to contest, which uh, I thought I won't be able to manage, uh, party is not giving me and I'm unable to manage on my own. So I thought this is the best decision. All right, now it looks like the fight between Telangana Congress and BJP is intensifying. As Delhi Police filed an FIR regarding Home Minister's doctor video, now Telangana Police appears to have lodged an FIR against Madhvi Lata and Union Home Minister Amit Shah too. The Hyderabad Police have registered a case against Home Minister Amit Shah. Hyderabad Lok Sabha poll candidate Madhvi Lata and other BJP leaders for violating the model code of conduct. The case was taken following the complaint of Telangana Pradesh Congress Committee TPPCC Vice President Niranjan Reddy. According to the police, the case has been registered for using children in election campaign. The other accused the party leaders including T. Yaman Singh, senior BJP leader G. Kishan Reddy and legislator T. Raja Singh also in this FIR. In a complaint to the Telangana Chief Election Officer, Niranjan Reddy alleged that on 1st of May, during a BJP rally in Lal Dwaza to Sudha Talkies, a few minor channels were on the dais with Amit Shah and so the FIR has been filed. However, no action has been taken yet. Meanwhile, when we talk of Amit Shah's doctored video case, a Congress supporter account on Twitter, Spirit of Congress, has been arrested regarding the sharing of this video. And so the case still goes on to find out that who was actually behind this whole fiasco where a doctored video of Amit Shah went viral in which he was seen claiming that reservation will be abolished. And so here we are at the end of this poll wrap of the day. We hope you enjoyed the wrap. The third phase of the voting is scheduled for 7th of May and so we hope that you will go out and vote in large. Until then, stay tuned at One India English for all the election coverage and geopolitical news like never before. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.